Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Hey, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Also, turn on your bell notifications. That way you are notified when I post a video. And as what I always mention, check out my other videos because I have some other good ones out there uh, that span over the N54 engine specific things and also some E90 stuff that others can relate to if you do not have a 335i or a 135i or a 535i. Hey, so before I get going and actually driving, so today I'm gonna to show you just how easy it is to data log using your JB4. Now, I have a 335i N54. If you have a JB4, then this will relate to all of you. Now, what I'm gonna be showing you today, and I've already mentioned in a video that I'm gonna post here at the top, okay, let me get to it here, is that I am using, let it connect here. It's connecting here. So what I'm using is the JB4 mobile app, which is streamed from the Bluetooth uh, within the DME box. So here, right here, as you can see, this is me at idle, uh, since my car is actually turned on. And I'm just gonna show you just how easy, like when you go down here to logs, as you can see, I have quite a bit of logs. Uh, that you can just kind of stroll right through. And then when you actually go to the log, you can graph it, email it, rename it or you know preview it as a C, uh, CSV file so usually the graph does a pretty nice job in a way I mean you get to show you get to see all the specifics here I want you to rotate it to landscape mode so you got that which is cool but more importantly and then you just exit out of here more importantly when you go to the logs you do a CSV see it right here this is a CSV file that takes a timestamp, about a quarter of a second. That's good, I'll say that. It displays everything out for you as far as, you know, boost. I mean, it goes on and on. I mean, it's it's a very long spreadsheet and it goes all into the minute detail. So that's the results after you get it. You can download it, you can send it to your email, and then you can later view it on your actual laptop. So let's go ahead and drive now and let me just show you just how easy it is to do it just using your jb4 on your 335i all right guys as far as data logging goes all you got to do is go into the app now like I said I'm using the Bluetooth so I'm using this really nice vent clip right here got the JB4 app running and really essentially to have to get a really nice actual data log uh, you can go at all different speeds you can go uh, you can go all through third all through fourth or whatever be the case which is fine uh, it just gives you more data so if you have a nice run you can get the stuff that you need to do obviously you can do a data poll whenever you want but essentially is as this you know you want to start in third gear around let's say 60 miles an hour and I'll wind out third so I'll go from 60 to about 110 and I'll show you the short period of time it takes for that but once you do that I gotta slow down here because the car uh, so with the JB4 app you can have it programmed to where it will start logging under full throttle so that's that's a nice feature so full throttle it just kicks right on it auto logs and you're good to go all right ready three two one and then it's easy as that so what you just go over here, go to your logs, set it, created a log, and then you just hit preview. This will show you the CSV file as far as from when we actually actually doing it. And then you can export it, send it to your email, kind of thing. And then that way you are good to go. So really guys, it's just really easy as that. You review the data, you can review it on your phone after you actually stop. If you want it's obviously easier when you export it send it to your email see it on in a csv file so excel and you could just filter on a lot of the con the columns and all that kind of stuff uh, i'm going to put a link in the description and that will direct you to the burger motorsports website that will uh, if you want to pick up the jb4 and also the bluetooth connect kit so that way you can run it just like this but i'm also going to put in the description below as far as 
the logging terms, like what each of the columns mean once you actually look at it and where the parameters should be at. So as far as like what parameter should my high pressure fuel pump be at? What should be my low pressure fuel pump? Uh, AFRs, all that good stuff. So all that is on their n54tech.com, but I'm gonna put a uh, link, like I said, right in there so that way you can go ahead and view at your leisure. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy the weekend and be sure to check out my other videos. And as always, please be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. I'll check you out next time. Take care.